Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Happy New Year to everyone and happy 2023 and we are here to do some pulls in part 4 and part 3 but we are going to start with part 4 for Super Sugofest, Nami and Robin of course. We're going all in here in three different parts in this New Year Super Sugofest. Very good start with a lot of animations but we all know from part 1 we cannot trust animations. So I just want to see posters for Legends. We have seen two so far, the more the merrier. Three in the first multi, very good start. First Legend, Luffy Sanji, okay. One of my most wanted Legends back in the day and we get Rare Recruit Sanji, the new one, so I will take that for Limit Break. Aokiji as well for the final tap, that is fine. Time skip Robin, not the best Rare Recruit of course. Legend number two, Usap Yasop, there we go. One of the legends I am missing in this part, and I am totally missing three. Nami, Usap Yasop, and Sasaki. I'll take Usap Yasop, I do like them as a legend, they're also a dual unit. Another Aokiji. Let's see if the final poster is also a legend, I do not remember what step this is exactly, I don't think it is any specific step, though it's probably rate boosted or sugar rare character, which means a nothing step. And there are more of these steps here, but the third legend is Enel, okay. Still very decent multi, we got Usap and Yasop, and yes, nothing guaranteed in the final poster, just a Kawamatsu. I guess on the newer side of rare recruits though, so that is fine. Let's continue to multi number 2, here we do have a step, it is actually a guaranteed legend, which is nice, but we still want to see more legends in the multi, 3 times legend rate, show yourself. Not a lot of animations. Maybe we can get Z4 actually here, we can. Time to see some red posters now. For gold ones I don't really miss anything anymore, we do see the first legend. And there is always the possibility of course for a gold poster to turn red, especially in these 3 times legendary Tsugos. Hack and Jimbe, not really what we are looking for, that's extremely old. Ok, Hannibal. I think the next poster now is the legend, and it will be, ok, Big Mom, I think V3 Big Mom, but whichever version I do have here, I only miss the latest one, as we get another Sanji, it does make sense to see more Sanjis here, because this is the Nami part, so it's canonically correct, let's see the final poster though, we saw the Sanji, is he chasing after Nami? Oh wow, <laughs> yeah he is chasing after Nami, but the wrong one, this is on Nami, we want the new Super Sugofest one, but of course we are going to get on Nami, because it is a Bandai One Piece Treasure Cruise Sugofest, and we have to see a little bit of trolling, of course it has to happen. More animations, so more legends, we are also really counting on the limited and super limited pool steps. Two limited pull steps before multi 10 and multi 10 of course the super limited pull step. But let's hope we can get Nami before that, of course that would be ideal. To start off the new year with the right note, come on. Ok, secret red, I like to see that. Sasaki, I'll take that. Very good so far, we've seen Usap, Yasop and Sasaki, the only two legends I am missing outside of Nami. And the bad thing now is that I have less chances of getting a new legend, because I'm only missing Nami. Every legend has equal rates though in this part, which is good. Just give me Nami and we are immediately going to change to the Robin part. But this multi after Sasaki really fell off. Yeah, we're not even seeing decent rare recruits here. Ok, time skip Sanji, does that mean a Nami comes after him? If it's on Nami again, I swear. Ok, it's Halloween Perona, it's not even a Nami, but it is a dupe nonetheless. One of the units that definitely have the potential to be a great combination with the new Super Sugarfest Robin. As we go into multi 4, unfortunately nothing guaranteed here, only a rate boosted or sugar rare character step, which is useless. We do see Luffy Cuttings though, so we are definitely going to see Legends. We get one in poster 3, if I'm not mistaken. And we cannot see another. Unfortunate. Let's see. 
We get 20th anniversary USAP, nothing crazy. Rayleigh Gabbard, this and rare recruit, debuted in the last New Year Super Sugo. And we get Ace and Yamato, that is a sick pull. A dupe for me, but it is 10 times better to see a Super Sugo Fest unit pool being a dupe because you can use it to upgrade their final tab abilities and that's exactly what I will do with Ace and Yamato even though I don't think their final tab is that insane. We get King who is rate boosted, Story Chopper who of course is an amazing unit, everyone knows that, Iceberg and the final unit is not a legend, it is a rare recruit and it will be Hit and Wire, another raid boosted unit we have seen a lot in our pools in this Super Sugo Fest. Great multi, if you don't have Ace Yamato, insane pool. But unfortunately I do have them, not what I'm looking for. Let's continue our hunt for Nami because in this step we have a limited pool step. Of course out of the limited pool we only want one unit which is not the best thing, odds wise, but we have to live with it. Another Shinobu Momonosuke. I have them rainbow at this point. I pulled them so much in part 1. It's crazy. And another Jimbe. And another Story Chopper. That is awesome to see. Okay, these rare recruits here are not looking too great, are they? Rayleigh and Gabban again. Are they rate boosted? I don't think they are. But I'm not certain either. There we go. Legend of the final poster is... Ooh, that's actually a good pull. Sanji and Zoro, the One Piece Day legend from this year. But of course a dupe for me. First time I get them as a dupe, I think. The first time I pulled them was the Uta Super Sugo Fest. Which was actually a very good Sugo Fest for me. And now we have another step that is rate boosted or Sugo Rare character. Hopefully this time though we actually do see legends during the multi because the rare recruits we got in multi 5 were not that great. Come on. Okay, we do see animations, some of them, Luffy cutins as well. So we are going to get legends. How many of them though? One. Keep them coming. We had such a great start with multiple legends per multi and now we have fallen off a bit. Izo, and this Robin again by the way, okay, not great rare recruits again, speed, the legend is, oh come on, Frankie and Chopper or General Frankie, the dual unit, good dual unit, good rare recruit in this Sanji as well, but both a dupe, I mean Sanji is decent for limit break, I guess General Frankie is too, Franosuke, Jack, at this point, I do have this unit fully rainbowed. And Aokiji again. Good for the final tap. I have pulled Rare Recruit Jack since he came out in the anniversary. I think I have pulled him so many times. I see him all of the time. In whatever Sugofest I pull, he's in there. Which is crazy because it's not the same with King and Queen. Jack specifically loves to be in my pools. We do get G4 and other animations here. We do see a legend, which is very nice. And we don't see another. Okay, again, the same thing, only one legend per multi. We want more for increased chances to get Nami. We get Cracker. I don't think I have this Nekomamushi. He's the strength one, right? Yes, I do not have him. That's a new rare recruit, something I did not expect to see. And there goes Queen, as soon as I said we see Jack all the time. Queen does not want to be left out. The legend of this multi. Ooh, that's an amazing pull. Another Super Sugofest unit. But it's not Nami, so I have them. It's Luffy, it's actually a very good unit. And I haven't really been using him a lot lately. I did use him in a team in the previous Kizuna versus Chopper. But other than that, Kizuna, I'm not using him a lot. And V3, Rayleigh, is the legend of the final poster. But V3 Snakeman is still an amazing unit. I just think we either don't see a lot of int content lately. So, you know, he does not get the chance to sign properly. But he's so strong. Okay, now, is that a no animation multi? We do get Luffy Cuttings. So that is something. I'm guessing that means legends. 
right? Is this the limited pool step, by the way? I completely forgot to look out for the step. It might be 8. I guess we are going to learn sooner or later, because we got no legend poster during the multi. Maybe the legend is the guaranteed limited pool one in the final poster. Summer Koala is rate boosted in the Sugafest. Kiros is most certainly not. Kalifa is not either. Aokiji again, his final tap has to be max at this point. More old rare recruits, more even older rare recruits, and Caesar Clown. So it is a legend poster. Please. Oh, Perona again. This time evolved. Great unit, but it's not what I want to see here. And yes, it was the limited pool step. So now we have to go to 10 for the super limited pool. As we get no animations or maybe falling stars, I'm not certain. No Luffy cuttings. Is this about to be a no legend multi? Or did we see falling stars? Maybe a secret red. Okiku and Hidden Wire both rate boosted. Okay. Robin. Sanji. Is this really a multi with no legends? Let's skip it. Skip through the rare recruits. Let's see if we are going to get a secret. Oh my god, we're not gonna get a secret. And this is a gold. Oh my god, they really gave us a no legend multi. Wow. But you know what? This might be the sacrifice. Multi 10 needs to give me Nami. There we go. Super limited pool. Please give me legends during the multi. Every animation almost, except the train, I think. Can we see G4? We cannot see G4. Come on, Legend 1, Legend 2, Legend 3, keep them coming. Okay, no 4, but we still have the super limited pool, so technically 4. Very good sign. We get a Nami winking, that means Nami will be in this multi. Secret Red as well. Vitwaukiji, get out of here. Vitwaukiji, come on. Okay, it's a Paramon. I think now it is a legend poster. It is. Okay, another Nami unit, essentially V1 Straw Hat crew. I cannot relate this to Nami really. Apu. Oh, Sirahosi, V1 Sirahosi, one of the oldest legends available here. Anniversary Sanji Rare Recruit. Another Secret Red. Oh my god, Vitwoden. Last Chance, Super Limited Pool, Legend Poster. Is... No, oh, come on. Ace and Yamato again. Okay. Was that a 6 legend multi? I think so. 1, 2, 3, 4. Yep. That's crazy. 2 Ace and Yamato as well before a single Nami. And the steps from now on are so bad. Screw it. I'm just gonna switch parts. Part number 3. We are going for Robin now. Because apparently Nami hates me. So we are going to test our luck in part 3. Because the thing is... I am missing more legends here as well. In the Nami part, I essentially only care about Nami. She does not want to show up and I don't really want to go after multi 10. Maybe I will. Let's do some pulls for Robin though. We are doing a lot of pulls in this new year Super Sukofest, that's for certain. We saw a legend in this first multi, there it is. Beckman and Lucky Roo, there we go. This change of parts was probably a good idea. I am already getting missing legends. And the great one with Lucky Room and Beckman. And fun fact, actually, I think I got Usap Yasop in the first multi of part 4 as well. And now we get Beckman Ru in the first multi of part 3. Can we also get Sanks? I actually got no legends from that whole batch. Sanks, Beckman Ru and Usap Yasop. Now I only miss one. The Super Sugofest one, which of course is also available in this part. Which is nice, as we get Alvaro Bizarro. No more legends in this multi, it seems like. Yes, we do get Summer Koalas, is rate boosted, but not a legend or not something we are looking for. Let's proceed though. Multi 2 guarantees a legend. Hopefully Robin does not treat me like Nami. 
we need to at least walk out with a super sugofest that we do not have in this video. We have to. One legend, keep them coming, please, come on. Comfort my sorrow, yes, two legends. And three with the final poster, if we don't get any surprises. Christmas Chopper, not really a pleasant surprise. Let's move on. Daifuku. Okay, time skip Sanji. Frankie. Legend number two. Oh, Summer Vivi. Okay, she's in the medal exchange currently. A dupe for me, of course. I think she was also evolved. Yes, she was evolved. These rare recruits, though, after Vivi. Hit and wire again at this point. I have to have them, Rainbow. Okiku again, who I did not even have before this Super Sugar Fest. And the legend in the final poster. Oh, come on! We just got them! At this point, maybe I have to accept this Super Sugar Fest is just not for me. We got them evolved now, yes, we can save the evolution materials. What a great day, I'm so lucky. At least they are super tandem. That's something, I guess. Maybe I have to accept at this point, this is not really my Super Sugar Fest luck hasn't been great. We have seen new units, even today. But if we think about the gems I've spent, even in part 1, we did get Kaido vs Yamato, but it was a miraculous multi-10. Before that, the pulls were pretty horrible. Super Type Fujitora is decent for limit break. Ideo again, no. Part 1, memories. Get out of here, I don't want to see that guy. Jimbo! Crocodile Robin. This legend has to be a new one. Let's go. Okay, you have to be joking at this point. Really? Again? Again? I'm not kidding you, you cannot script this better. Is this Lucky Ruined Beckman too? Okay, it's Kinemon Denjiro. Wow, imagine if that was Lucky Ruined Beckman for the fourth time in like four multis or three multis. Three multis. Now it is multi four. I don't think I will go to 10, especially if we don't see another new legend until multi number 5. Let's see. Okay, we get one. And nothing else. And it is another rate boosted step, so we don't have a guaranteed legend in the end either. Daruma. Ace, we just saw that Ace in the previous multi. Kinemon, the legend, Komurasaki, okay. Stampy Robin, time skip Zoro, Hidden Wire again, our favorite unit, Halloween Koala, Black Maria, the legend would be great, I don't have her, and Zoro, okay. Hello Zoro, first time we see him today, obviously I have him multiple times already. Try 5 slash multi 5 limited pool legend. Let's go. Actually here I don't only miss Robin, so at least give me something new please. Or at least show me a legend during the multi. This is really not my sugar fest. Okay, Jack. Caesar. Raizo, great support, do not get him from the medal exchange, at some point you are going to pull him. But he's one of the very few units that actually removes special bind as a support from all of the units and not just the supported character. Aokiji, not only his final dub is max at this point, probably even the other limit break ability. Jimbo, again! Come on, limited pull legend. Please restore my faith in this Sugo. Or give me another dupe. Boa, okay. Should we even continue here? I don't know. Tell me right now through the screen, what should I do? You want me to continue? Okay. Let's go to the next multi then, I guess. You don't want me to continue. Let's stop. Nah, screw it. Let's do another multi. I guess at this point, we are that deep into the mud. 
Might as well, I guess, reach multi 10 and the super limited pool. Now, famous last words, I know. We get a legend, can we get another? No, we can't. Maybe that was such a dumb decision. I don't know. Hopefully, you guys have way better pulls than I do in this Super Sudo Fest. As always, let me know in the comments down below what was your favorite pull. It is extended, please! Yes! 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 Finally! Finally, we see the extended poster animation and we get Robin. A bit ago when I asked if I should continue, if you thought yes, then you were absolutely correct. One more multi and we now get Robin. And Summer Robin, back to back, even though I have her rainbow. Wow, finally. And for some reason Elizabeth has cake in this artwork, which I have never seen before and I have been playing this game for years. Finally, a Super Sugar Fest I really wanted to get. And I do not think we have more legends in this multi. Maybe I am mistaken. We will see, I guess, the final poster too. Film Red Robin. That is also new for me. This is definitely the Robin multi. We saw the new Super Sugar Fest Robin. Film Red Robin, which is new for me. And Summer Robin. And we ended with Summer Koala. Not the first time we see her, but the certain thing is I am done with the Super Sugar Fest. I am very happy. We managed to get Robin, especially before Multi-10. Thankfully, it was not really a despair situation, like in the Nami part. And now, tell me in the comments below what were your pulls and if you are happy with them. And of course, if you enjoyed the Super Sugofest journey we went through together in this video, definitely leave a like, I would really appreciate it. And subscribe to the channel for more One Piece Treasure Cruise content. As always, thank you so much for watching, take care, happy new year to everyone, and I'll see you in the next one.